How's it going, reef keepers? Just wanted to do a quick video for, for uh, relatively new reef keepers regarding Duncan coral, which is one of the cheapest and most bulletproof corals in the hobby, and often overlooked, I think, uh, by a lot of reef keepers because it is relatively hardy and very, very commonplace. I mean, even in 2023, you can get a frag of this um, for like 20 bucks from anybody at a frag swap that has one. So it's a coral that's, you know, near given away. And therefore I think it actually gets passed over a lot. People see the price and they're like, yeah, that's, you know, that must be not a great coral. And I, I think it is a great coral. Um, I have this instance of a Duncan here. I have another variety here, and I have a third here. And what's interesting about Duncan corals is that every one of them is different in appearance. Some of them have fatter tentacles, some of them have thinner tentacles, some of them have longer tentacles, shorter tentacles, some of them are, are creamier, some of them are more purple, some of them are, you know, lime green. Um, I've even seen some very close to pure white Duncan corals. I never, you know, had the money to pick one up when I happened to pass one by, but I would have if I did, um, because they're just beautiful. So um, these corals, in my unesteemed opinion, are among the most bulletproof. I mean, I'd rank them up there with like GSP, maybe a little harder than GSP because they are LPS coral. Um, so you want to take certain care with them and they probably need a little bit higher light than like GSP would thrive at. Um, but I've got them all placed at midway points in the tank. And for flow on these, my highest flow skirts the top of my rock work to hit all the SPS coral in my tank. I've got these positioned all at the midway point in the tank. So they're getting ripped at certain points of the day pretty good along the top, um, but they're not, the majority of them is not getting absolutely battered all day. And even the battering that the top of the, each of these corals do get is limited. I mean, my power heads will scale down and then they're not getting that like, you know, battering direct flow. So I would say, I mean, I've, they, can, they can withstand pretty serious flow. I'd say medium flow. Um, medium high flow you might take a risk on um i'm sure low flow would be fine i mean this this one here in the center ironically gets some of the low lower flow throughout the course of the day it's generally about like this and it's fine it's it's happy as heck you know blossoming it's they've all expanded tremendously over the course of the year that i have had this this 80 gallon water box display tank um, this one started out as two heads right here. This one started out as four heads right here. And then this, my largest example, and it's hard to show it because it, it kind of extends back, but this is, I've seen the most growth on this one. Um, so as far as lighting goes, I'd say this one's the farthest from the light and it has grown the most, but this one's it started out as probably four heads and you can just see how many like you can see new heads poking out from underneath look at the um, sheer amount of heads on this thing in the course of a year with new heads just sprouting everywhere so as far as aesthetic they're not like some snazzy black light party coral but i think that the movement they provide is mesmerizing and it makes your tank just look alive and it's a good thing to create a large colony out of to fill a part of your tank. So highly, highly recommend. Great coral, Duncan corals, um, and you can get them cheap and you can get into this hobby with coral very cost effectively if you go the Duncan coral route. So, all right, like and subscribe if you want more content. Thanks very much.